Well, hey, everybody, and welcome back. It is time for more Armored Core match. We are getting ready to go through Grid 086 to the oh. big cargo launcher. Oh, boy. Uh, this, is, this is business as usual, man. Uh, uh, get, yeah. <laughs> this is as usual. Getting shot uh, through a, a, like a, like a railgun slash yep. catapult. Yep. I, well, this is the third time we're doing it. So, anyway, I'm Jeff. I'm Matt. Did we do that already? I don't, I don't remember. remember. I don't remember uh, anymore. <laughs> Um, old Cinder. Old Cinder Carla. Yep. So the Braconians call the survivors of the human. So yeah, we're trying to... Yeah. I think our biggest question at this point, Matt, is like, what's up with these weird mechs that keep showing yeah. up? Yeah, yeah, uh, these phantom mechs. Yeah. Uh, I am really... Uh, yeah, because we've... I'm, I'm going through the Rolodex in my head as to what happened the last time. Because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we, we went to go have a normal boss fight. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then a bunch of dudes showed up. Well, like, Guazu was there, wasn't he? That was when we did the Dozer mission. Where instead oh, no, of but after that, another dude showed up. Yeah. No, well, instead of instead of fucking up the hyenas like we did in the first two playthroughs, right. we had to destroy the, those, like, hacking things. Right. And at the end, Iguazu showed up because he was hired to murder us. Oh, right, and then other um, dudes showed up. And then a bunch of, like, yeah, a bunch of silent dudes going clickety-clickety-clickety-click all predators. showed up. You're fucking yes. Wouldn't uh, that just be the fucking <laughs> end all, the fucking predators? And then the predator showed up. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I love how that's just like, at what point? At what point during the rage like playthrough, will the predator show up? Yep. I don't. Uh, who could say? I mean, I don't know. At least, um, at least, Armored Core and Souls and at least From Software does not engage in this rampant fan service horseshit that every other <laughs> franchise is like uh -huh. it's got Skeletor it's got Rick and Morty it's got your fan it's got Kiryu Kazamas in Rainbow Six Siege I'm no. like but why <laughs> I I want that to be real is that real no that is real god damn it I'm, now I'm real. mad that it's real <laughs> yeah like, I wanted it but now I don't want it um, <laughs> be careful what you wish for yeah take it back uh, um, no wee. no no um did you see that uh, that retrospective that uh, that review mm -hmm. that Red Letter Media did on Predator Two? Oh yes, I did. It was actually yeah, uh, it was really pretty, fun. I forgot good. that Predator Two was very entertaining. It was very weird. Uh, like uh, the the guys at Red Letter Media have a little bit more like um, a little bit more of a taste for queso than I do, mm, and uh, where yeah. I'm just like, man, mm. you know, it's kind of like Ghostbusters Two or like Temple of mm, Doom or something, yeah. where a lot of like, what, who is shooting me? Where are you, you dumb shit? I see your little dot. Okay, never mind. You're just gonna be out there <laughs> being a dipshit. Bye. Um, where those guys have a little bit higher tolerance for like, you know, it wasn't that bad, and I'm just like. Man, if I want to watch Predator, I'm just going to watch the first Predator movie. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to bother with You're definitely a Predator, Predator purist. Um. Well, or like Ghostbusters, right? Sure. If I want to watch Ghostbusters. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> if uh, yeah. I want to watch Ghostbusters, I'm just going to watch Ghostbusters. I'm not going to watch Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. I remember seeing uh, all, I didn't, I've never seen all of Ghostbusters 2, but I've seen, like, bits and pieces of it. I remember thinking, like, this is what this fucking movie is about. It's got a kaiju at the and end. Sort of, <laughs> um, in Ooh, the way. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! Okay, all right. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, but I am a, I am an advocate that if a sequel does something interesting, yeah, I will give it a little more space. Like that's why I think Predator. I mean, we talked about this before, but like Predator Two. They did what I have always thought they should have done, which is like we're not continuing the story. Yeah. We're just taking this concept and moving Oops. it to a different Oops. time and place. Okay. All right, all right, guys. We're, we're just putting it. A, we're right. just changing the setting, so we're doing something different. Yeah. And that's that's more interesting to me than whatever the fuck was going on in Ghostbusters Two. Okay, let's access this cargo launcher. Uh, wait, hold on. I need to reload my wings. Okay. This is one of the few missile launchers that you can manually reload. Oh, okay, so. cool. No, thank you. Don't make me. I'm, There's I'm a not giant going. fucking sea spider getting ready to Whoa. come down. Yep. That machine. Uh, it's a. It's a weapon designed to fight Metal Gear. Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa. The only thing that can fight a Metal Gear is another, another Metal, Metal Gear, Gear. Matt. Uh, I remembered when I. Did, I did uh, that. Which one was that one? Was that two. four? Two. Uh, that's the uh, 
the there's a speech that the guy gives in the cargo bay of um, the tanker, uh-huh. and it, it goes on a loop. And uh, he says, like, you know, one of the things he says is the only thing that can fight a Metal Gear is another Metal Gear. Does um, Is there a fight between Metal Gears and Metal Gear in Metal Gear Solid 2? There is. Because uh, no, I know the, there's no, the, the fight in 4. There is a fight in 4. There is not in 2. Oh, okay. Fuck. Oops. Wow. Well, I got. Well, they set, that, they set that up way in advance. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that was the point of Metal Gear Ray, the new Metal Gear that was developed by the United States in order to fight Metal Gear Rex. Right. If Metal Gear Ray was an anti-Metal Gear Metal Gear as, you as opposed to a walking nuclear uh, pro- proliferation platform. Don't, oh God, please don't let me get started talking about Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, we'll, it's, we'll never get out of we'll here. Never get no out one's getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you all down with me. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, it's fine. I just um, I just remembered recently I saw like a really long retrospective on Metal Gear 4. Yeah. And I watched it. And I remembered like they got to the part with the fight. Yep. And I was like, Oh, man, this is like the final battle, isn't it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, oh, God. not by a long shot. It's like the penultimate chapter. It's not even the last chapter. Yeah, I remember uh, re- seeing that and thinking, there's like a pine cone on the underside of that. Yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, I, a big dumb dork. We fought this thing before, right? Oh, fuck yeah. Every uh, time okay. we leave okay. here, we fight the sea okay. spider. Uh, it's just a lot of, there's just a lot of robots okay. with legs. Oh, there, uh, there it goes. It's all robots. <laughs> oh, I know, but like this <laughs> robots all the way down. <laughs> okay. Woo! 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 All right. All righty. Powered by coral, whatever, man. I'm powered whatever. by coral whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Who's coral for fuel? They're burning my family, burning up oh, my yeah. my mom's and dad's. Oh, that's right. That mm-hmm. whole thing. Uh, the lore is all coming back to me now. Open, 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 open. <laughs> Open, 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 what do you open, think we're open, here to open, hang open, out open. and talk? I want to go. I want to be launched. There we go. So, all right. Now we're up to chapter three. There are five chapters. Chapter three uh, ends with the ice worm. Chapter four is going down into Rubicon City or into the, the city. And then chapter five is kind of where everything comes to a head. So. Mm. Okay, good. So, yeah. We're moving along. Yeah, I... Don't call me a dog. Um, just no, hey, I, I like that Walter says that. He that's says right. that later on. He's just like, don't call him a dog. Yeah, every time Archibus is just like, yeah, what about your fucking idiot <laughs> man child that you've got in that robot? <laughs> he's like, man, he's fucked your shit up. Yeah, he's like, uh, <laughs> what about this meat sack you? That's like basically a battery for your fucking war machine. Yep. He's like, dude. Come fucking on. uncool. Yeah. Come fucking on. rude. <laughs> um, I, I, I do every now I'm going to give you guys a really bad Yelp review. <laughs> Balaam Industries. One star. Kind of rude. On, on, on Glassdoor. On Rubicon <laughs> 6's Glassdoor. Uh, all the corporations are getting a low score. It's like, oh, shit. Well... <laughs> I guess what we'll have to do is make customer service worse. <laughs> that's how they do things on Earth. Yep. God, what did I... What did Wahoo! I, what did I run into recently that was like, uh, oh, so nothing matters. Uh-huh. And, uh, oh, yeah, I think it was um, uh, the Behind the Bastards episode about the uh, the air, airline industry mm. and how, like, it's all just terrible. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean... What poor people can fly on planes now? Make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally. Well, I mean, what was the the? the I guess uh, I can do current events because we're recording this like three days before it's coming out. Yeah, fucking whatever. So um, <laughs> there was a thing last week that was a big deal where some Blizzard executive talked about how like, oh, wouldn't it be great if when you got to the end of a game, if there was an option where you could like tip the developers <gasps> where you could basically give them even more money oh. if you like really enjoyed the game there'd be like a basically you know oh would you like to tip uh yes or no, no. and everybody was like no <laughs> you, no fuck you, you um you got my money here's the thing i think that comes from the perspective of somebody who has money i think there's, oh yeah i think there's basically like people what got money and people what do, like people what have 
enough money that they don't have to worry about it ever. You can eat whatever you want. Right. You can go on vacation. You can be like, I'm going to fly up to fucking California this weekend just for... I'm not, I'm not trying to like describe you or anything. <laughs> um, uh, but... I- I said, I said, anyway, go ahead. Uh, go on. But there's a certain amount of wealth that you can have where you just don't ever have to think about it. Sure. And I think that that's where that comes from is this idea. But for me, I'm like, guys, did you have you noticed that every place? Okay, one, every place started wanting you to put a tip when you order online before you go pick up your food. And two, have you all noticed that all those tips that used to go 10, 15, 20 are now like 18, 25, 30? Uh, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. and some of them, they put them in the reverse order so that like oh, 30 or 25 is picked by default. And you have to like crank it down. And I'm just like, you guys are going to destroy. Oh. 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 It's like, oh, mine's been gathering data. Oh, shit. Oh no! This is just opening up multiplayer. Uh, that oh. was uh, that was here before. Okay, uh, you whatever. have to get to chapter three before you can do multiplayer. Right. Yeah, the arena. No, we're good. Um, and I'm just like, do you, you guys really want to destroy like tipping culture in, in like just as a thing? Well, of course they do. They don't give a shit. Well, because then they'll have to pay people. Uh, well, by yeah. the way, I didn't have time to make anything special this week, so that's uh, fine. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I like I like this one. Uh, uh, all right, what do we got? Steal the survey data? Yeah, we've done this yeah, one yeah, before. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm i like, you know, fuck faces. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tipping 30% on a pickup for falafel, okay? <laughs> I'm not. I wouldn't tip 30% in person at a restaurant that served me falafel. Like, I'm sorry. That's just not, like, how this is going to fucking go. Like, I'm just, I can't afford to add 30% onto the cost of everything because you guys have decided, oh, well, it would be rude not to. And I'm like, well, then I guess I'm fucking rude. Like, I'll, I'm, yes. I'm happy to tip somebody for food. I'm even happy to tip, you know, when I go pick stuff up. But, like, I stopped using delivery apps because I can't fucking afford them anymore. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, oh. well, now you're going to drive yourself to Jersey Mike's to pick up a sandwich because you can't afford Uber Eats. Would you like to add 30% to the cost of <laughs> Of your fucking submarine oh. sandwich i'm just like no no god i mean <laughs> jesus you're you're not wrong at all i recently uh like okay i now thankfully you know it, w- within the last because <laughs> i used to live kind of way outside yeah. of austin mm-hmm. and might have to go back out there since that's the only place is fucking affordable rent <laughs> uh but uh currently i live in an area that has a few more amenities right and hey, hey, so there's more it. delivery options. And so for a while there, I was like fucking getting delivery all the goddamn time. Yeah. Until I really sat down and started looking at the numbers. And especially recently, like, I think I ordered like chilies for two. And <laughs> you fool, I, you I, foolish fool. <laughs> and I and I saw the delivery and I think the whole thing together. And this is plus tip, yep. plus delivery fee, yep. plus just whatever the DoorDash fee is. Oh, fuck DoorDash. Um, yeah, and it was like God. $85 what? for two people. And I just switched it over to Pickup, and it dropped it to like, I think it dropped it to like 40 or 50 Yes. Oh, no, like you're paying. That's with drinks. You're, pay, you're paying 2x for, for delivery for, apps like that. Yeah. Like, and the thing is that I stopped using those things because it was just like, Man, I could spend thirty dollars to get like a, a submarine sandwich, mm-hmm. or I could go to the fucking crazy ramen fusion place by my house for thirty bucks <laughs> and just get the, just give them my thirty dollars instead of giving sure. half of it to Grubhub that mm-hmm. doesn't actually give their shit. Like they yeah. don't actually pay people very well. well. Uh, apparently, DoorDash is like there's some kind of class action lawsuit against DoorDash. Last I heard, I, I may be talking out of my ass here, but because they have the uh, they have an option. These are, these are just replay missions, you guys. We could talk about whatever. Yeah. We yeah, 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 we don't even, have to pay attention. Uh, <laughs> we're just sitting here screaming about delivery apps. Yep. Uh, the uh, uh, they have this option that is hey, uh, called. Um, oh, it's just another little guy. Uh, he's a little, little guy. He's a little guy. I'm just a little guy. And now hey, he's, he's a dead. dead guy. Um, <laughs> so they had an option called like get it faster, <laughs> and nice. it was like add an extra like three bucks. Yeah. Apparently. Oops. That was like, again, they are like being sued because it doesn't do that. It doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. It does not bump you to the top of a list or something. You're just giving them more money 
and and I Ooh, was that? so fucking angry when I yeah. found out about that. Because that's the problem. Here, we're going to solve capitalism today, folks. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. It was Matt and Jeff. They're the ones. <laughs> they started the revolution while playing the robot game. <laughs> Mintberry Crunch was on the screen. Hell that's the, yeah. The they scholars. Called, they called it the Mintberry Revolution. <laughs> the history books will we'll put our names up when the glorious revolution <laughs> yeah. starts. Matt and Jeff bitching about it. was Uber Eats. That was the yeah, last yeah, straw. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't like people getting paid or health care or anything like that. No. It was just like, sandwiches cost too fucking <laughs> much you guys <laughs> the rent is to the sandwiches are too damn high <laughs> sandwich rent is too damn high <laughs> um, i mean it really is fucking sandwich rent but yeah i mean i basically came to the conclusion like all right you know this is this really is for people who like you just said don't have to worry about money like you're not wrong about me fucking off to california <laughs> but <laughs> it's it's also kind of like number one it's kind of metered out where i'm like well i'm not making any money on this trip but it's a really good you know networking opportunity or sure. something so hopefully this will no i there's a difference because you don't do that all the time no like you don't engage in like you know uh pricey fancy bullshit all the time no like you do it every so often for specific occasions you basically have what used to be considered like a regular middle class person's <laughs> life and yeah. is now considered yeah. like a moderately rich person's life because you know you can afford twice a year three times a year to go on a, a trip it, because it, you like me like i can afford to buy every video game that comes out because i made it my fucking job and you made I, a piece yeah. of your job like i gotta go to japan every year <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like hey yeah. good on you man like <laughs> i mean exactly <laughs> um, exactly you know and i really appreciate that nobody's giving me shit about that yeah. <laughs> like you know we're like oh mr fancy man gonna go off to i mean not, not outside of like kidding you know it's like somebody, oh, somebody hey, 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 whoa, hey. whoa whoa Oh, nice shoot. Calm text. down there, buddy. Jesus. You want to get your ass kicked? I would be more than happy to whoop your fucking ass, okay, you idiot. <laughs> I will say, though, Fool. I think there is a little, there's going to be a little bit of uh, of sour grapes because uh, I did just get invited to an event in Hawaii. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but, but, like, this is That's part cool. of, I mean, like, the thing is that if you if you, if you you shoot for a job You're right. where it's like, oh, there's travel involved, right? Mm -hmm. like, Which wasn't, like, the intent no. I just wanted to fucking draw. Yeah, <laughs> but then what you chose, I mean, you know. Right. It, what you chose to draw was something that was going to, uh, I, I, wasn't even trying to I wasn't even trying to, like, get, get down on it. It's just, it's like, I do know certain people where it's like, some people have enough money, right. and, whether it's either they they come from a rich family or they have a good job, where it's just like, they don't have to worry about it. No. They can be like, oh, I'm going to spend $80 on chilies. Like, if I spent mm -hmm. $80 getting chilies delivered, I would feel that shit. Yeah. I would ruminate on it for the next like, three days. I'm <laughs> like, man, I should have just fucking gone over there. Like, why did I mm -hmm. spend all this money yeah. to get fucking chilies delivered? And some people, like, $80 is nothing. And so, like, when the price of Uber Eats goes from $30 to sixty dollars, they don't fucking. Care. I mean, it's like it's no big deal. Um, and this ties back. Oh, sorry, I didn't oh, cut you off. I was just like, this no, kind of ties right. back to oh, the shit. thing we were what? talking fuck, about fuck. with like, ah, oh, fuck here. you guys can tip us. Right. If you've got extra money, like, yeah, I, I, I that's a, that's the, I mean, that's kind of part of the problem oh, is shit. that there's uh, uh, a lot of the people who yeah. are s making those suggestions and making those decisions don't live in the same reality. Yeah. As people who like, I I, I listened to the audio book of that. Um, it was that NFT. Um, oh, the the, book. the the uh, Zeke uh, Zeke Fox. Yeah, book. Well, that was a really good book. Yeah, uh, it was really good. Uh, I I really enjoyed it. Uh, well, oh, in, hey enjoyed is a relative term. It was it gets, more it gets, infuriating. By the end, it gets very dark when they get to yeah. the the pig butchering stuff, oh, uh, yeah, and it's just like. It's so dark. Although it's also, and I'm gonna say it's like I think that that shit should be. I mean, it, we should like be taking steps to get make that shit like not a thing. But by the same token, it's like I also. <laughs> so yes. just like. Say your controversial opinion, uh, okay. Jeff. Okay, <laughs> so if you guys know a lot of these pig butchering scams, that's where people will call say, you up. Say your human trafficking hot take. <laughs> right. Well, will will they'll call you up and they'll uh -huh. like they'll pretend to be a person mm -hmm. and then they'll try to get you into a crypto scam and then they'll take all your fucking money. Right. Okay. And you're just like, oh, I know about this. This happens. Right. It's a mm -hmm. scam thing. And then you find out that a lot of these scams are run out of I think it's what Malaysia, Cambodia, Cambodia. Yeah. And they're like people that are basically like slaves yeah people like that are get, locked in these like yeah. horrible conditions who are forced to do this shit and have no choice but to do it and you're like 
and and that is horrifying and yeah. i hate it but matt i hate that i now can't even be like fuck those scammers it's got to be like no they're victims too and you're just like well fucking uh, what am i supposed to complain about <laughs> yeah you yeah give me a, a target to complain about oh man are we all fucking victims of this shitty world system we implemented can i get a big ship with a bridge that I can fucking, can I go to the scammer bridge and blow it up with my fucking armored core, with my mech? What's that, what's that uh, what, what was that movie, The Beekeeper? Oh, yeah. Where <laughs> Jason Statham goes the around beekeeper. and murders a bunch of fucking, uh, they were scammers, right? They were like, That uh, was a different type of scam. That was like a, uh, it was like, like they, fishing scams. Yeah, they call up your grandma and say there's something wrong. Uh, oh, can I get your, can I get your, like, oh, I, I transferred Two hundred dollars. Can I get your financial data? Oh, I transferred two hundred dollars into your bank account. I, I, uh, I. Oh no, I accidentally transferred two thousand dollars into your bank account. I'm gonna get fired if you don't give me your routing information so I could take oh. it back. And then they just drain your bank account. The, the movie starts with that happening to Felicia Rashad from <laughs> the fucking Cosby Show. Oh no! And that's the inciting incident for the beekeeper to reactivate. <laughs> to react. Yeah, I. And speaking of somebody, movie of the century, you guys. <laughs> As somebody who, who, as somebody who did fall prey to a not not entirely like they didn't get any money, yeah, but that did happen to me once, yeah, and I didn't fucking know any better at the time, and I was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then uh, like partway through the call, I like um, a little tingle in the back of my brain that was like, um. And thankfully, like I said, they didn't get anything. I just had to go through and I had to change all my fucking mm -hmm. numbers and shit, but. Uh, best, tip, I would, best tip if that you ever think that something is wrong with your bank, mm -hmm. if you get a call and they say that there's something wrong with the bank, hang up and call your bank. That's what I did. Yeah. I went and I and I immediately like hung up and then called my own bank. Yeah. And they were like, nope, uh, that was not us. We don't call you. PCA, schmeca. Yeah. Oh, no. Here the comes the PCA. Look at all their dumb ships that I blow up 12 <laughs> at a time. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. This would be so bad. Oh, no. That's the worst. <laughs> uh, dude, yeah. I, um, oh. 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 Your old buddy from the I think we got this one last oh, time. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not sure, though. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. Yeah, I think so. Mm hmm. Is he the one that's contacting us for um, the joint mission with Archibus? Yeah, this is him telling okay. us that the corpse have all decided to fight the PCA right. instead of each other. Um, and this starts us whooping the PCA's ass. Yeah. Like that one. Balaam's always in a sorry state. Don't talk about Balaam. <laughs> Jorgen. They make good sweaters, but, you know, outside of that. Like, <laughs> what is that? What is that? Balenciaga. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> All just one big happy family of murderers. That's the Rubicon Liberation Front. Look at them with their trash oh, yeah. ACs. Look at their little Z and fucking <laughs> father thumb. Fucking and box mech. Look at my middle finger, Domayan, or whatever. Like... <laughs> I, uh, they look like that. I may have made this reference before, but they kind of look like that little mech from uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. Mm, yes. <laughs> the little. Yes. Oh. They're about that size, too, because these yeah. aren't like kaiju sized. Yeah, mechs. they're not like uh, 300 feet tall. What? Who's calling? Is it the plot? It is. is it the. I see you got oh. a call from V4. I've been contacted as well. Yeah. By the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the call. Yeah, this is just mm. setting up that we're, we're doing. We're going to the worm. Yeah, well, we're getting to the worm. We, right. we got to fuck up. We're getting to it, yeah. We got to fuck up um, uh, the PCA until we piss them off to the point where the worm comes out. Um, right. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think this is new, isn't it? Um, maybe. Because I don't remember the Rubicon Liberation Front having playing a, a, a role after the uh, whole Bela, uh, after after the corpse all got together to fight. Let's see. Uh, I should be able to tell just by the mission. So attack our feeling base. We've done mm -hmm. that one. Eliminate V7. That's Swinburne. Mm -hmm. That's the stealth mission. Okay. Uh, and then we've got tunnel sabotage. No, this was, we've done these. Uh, these are two choices. Mm. This is a choice that we had. So prevent the corporate salvage of new tech is when we fought the giant tread uh, guy mm. from the opening. That was when we mm -hmm. did that in playthrough two. And tunnel sabotage is the one where we um, go all the way down uh -huh. to the bottom and blow up the thing that I think the giant 
coral wave follows oh, us back out. We have to get okay. out really quickly. Yeah. So, okay. Um, All right. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna tear ass through some of these. I don't know if any of these have anything different, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I guess I we'll think. find out, won't I can't we? Remember. This job comes from Schneider. 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 Rob Schneider is a carrot. Uh <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. We can skip this. This is the one where Rusty is doing the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I was about to say... Wait. The, what? Oh. <sighs> what did you do? No, 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 no. I know. The, the thing is that I know these missions because I've played them trying getting S rank. Right. I thought this was a different one. I thought this was okay. one at the end where the ice worm comes out, but I think it, this is the one beforehand where you just, uh, like, trash everybody, and then it ends with the... Um, the Ekdromai Special Forces mechs coming out oh. to fight us from the cool. PCA. Okay. Um, but I've done this mission a lot. Okay. Uh, trying to S rank it because there's a there's a like a little secret to S ranking it. Um, you either have to do it insanely fast, or you have to kill like this one very specific AC, and if you kill him, you get like a bonus score. Um, anyway. It's just so funny watching you blast through this. Yep. And um, it's these fuel tanks that we you're just watching like the, the it's just funny because it's this is it's so much of this is like fire and forget. Like yep. it's like that guy boop he did not no Him need dead. to confirm the kill. This I is the one guy whose death I will need to confirm because mm -hmm. he is a PCA enforcement guy. Of course. Uh Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, get him. Yeah, okay, Walter, thanks. Bam, done. Boom. Did Splap. It. Splapo. Splapo! So, yeah, there's this big bridge uh, that's got these turrets at the end, and I think last time we ended up going kind of down below it for a little while to find some log files. Mm. Um, but this time we're just going to go right across. Also, this um, this laser rifle is pretty, pretty uh, rad. So, this is, is that the that same I, one that you yeah. were using? Yeah. Yeah. I um, remember you you discovered it and you were just like, this thing's fucking awesome. Well, it's got like it's got the punch of like like I usually use double laser rifles, mm -hmm. and it's got the punch of like it's got a, a higher firing rate. Oh god, that was the worst thing. I shouldn't have done any of that. Double uh, lasers all the way across the sky. So anyway. Um, Pew, pew. Oop, oh shit. my god. I took a, pew, pew. I'm not pew, trying pew. to S rank shit. Pew, pew. Yeah, uh, that's the nice thing about when you go to New Game Plus 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 is that you're just like, I've done these missions so many <laughs> fucking times. Yeah. Do I need the recharge? I do not need it. I really wish. I really sucking. wish that. I'm just thinking about robots now. I'm just thinking about two, robot, six, two, robot alchemic drive, and how I want a proper remake of that. Are you, uh, Matt? Are you gonna watch Kaiju Number Eight? Uh, are, you, are you aware of Kaiju yes, Number Eight? Yes, yes, okay. yes. I, I read some of the manga. Yeah, I'm, I'm not caught up, mm -hmm. but uh, I have. I did see that the new episode dropped. Yeah, it finally, finally came out. It was yeah. so hyped on Crunchyroll that they had like a. A tw like a 24-hour countdown timer until the first episode. It's a little surprising, started. to be honest, because it's like, I, I don't know how it is compared to the manga. I mean, uh, the manga's fun. Here come these motherfuckers. It's just, I guess I'm just like, it's not, it's not that like, it's not like that amazing, guys. Like, I like it. And it's just, it's not, <laughs> I guess it's just not blowing my mind, you know? Uh, well, it'll be Ooh. interesting to see because it's. That thing's a fucking Zaku. It's coming into a fuck. No, it's not. It's too, um, neither one of those guys have the right body shape. It's just they have the shape. dome head and the visor eye. Um, the, uh, it'll be interesting to see if it's able to survive because we're on a fucking stacked anime season. Because mm -hmm. uh, we're actually in a, through a kind of strange quirks of fate, like My, uh, My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer are both back at the same time in oh May. My God. So like the first week in May, <laughs> you guys, you guys are funny. You guys are fun. You guys, you guys are, are fun. Cute. We should hang out after work. Yeah. If you I'm, guys aren't dead. Yeah, uh, I'm going to blow your dick off. Um, we'll well, this guy's actually got some, like, laser weapons, but that first guy got way too close to me, way too quick. Uh, uh, I think that with Kaiju number eight, I think it has its audience. And I think the main reason is being... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah, I, I fuck think, your mother! 
Uh, yeah, get him, get him. There you go. Dead. I think the main reason it's being pushed so hard yeah. is because kaiju are just really in vogue right now. Yeah. And I think that's the... That's Everybody's into them giant dudes. Yeah. Big, big men. <laughs> They're into the big men. Um, They're into big man Japan. Uh, God, I, I, <laughs> I, I told you about that, what my feelings were on that movie. Oh, yes. Right? I am familiar. Yeah, okay, good. I am familiar. I don't have to repeat myself. Um... <laughs> It's it's whatever. Uh, but with Kaiju number eight, I I was I mean again maybe it's because I'm just not caught up on the manga. But I remember reading it and being like, I mean this is cool and this is kind of fun. But like, it's also like uh, part of what <sighs> words that they're, Use they're them. doing the thing. <laughs> they're doing the thing that that Netflix Ultraman anime series, not the new movie, mm -hmm. but the anime series was doing where. Well, we have to animeify this. We have to mangaify it. Mm -hmm. So we have to take out one of the things that kind of makes it the thing. Mm -hmm. So they're not giant anymore. And everyone is kind of shitty to each other because it's anime and everyone's everyone has an a an acrimonious relationship to each other because everyone's all uwu sundere and <laughs> and yeah and and then like okay we can have a we can have a fun time with this okay that's fine yeah uh, cool and so so that's the thing that I, that uh, uh, kind of uh, is a little irritating mm -hmm. not i wouldn't even say it's irritating it's fine it just it doesn't super interest me because i get that in other places and mm -hmm. i go to kaiju stuff for kaiju stuff sure like for mo for monsters and giant robots and i think it's one of the reasons why there actually historically have not been very many kaiju anime and manga mm -hmm. Because it was kind of seen as its own thing, especially when it's like because it's tokusatsu. Uh -huh. So it's like, well, and also a lot of <laughs> a lot of anime and manga artists don't like drawing monsters. <laughs> really? Well, it's not that they don't like doing it. It's just they spend a lot of their the fuck. Do they like <laughs> drawing? Because it doesn't appear to be um, uh, mecha anymore. <laughs> oh well, I mean, they like drawing cute girls and hot boys. Oh, like okay. that's what they like drawing. Well, that makes sense. And it's also fa like I actually talked to um, I talked to <sighs> excuse me while I drop this name. Oh. Um, I was talking to Kia Asamiya, who's uh, I don't know who that is. Silent Mobius. Uh, he worked on an anime called uh, Martian Successor Nadesco. Oh, no, I know. I know that. Yeah, I know yeah. Martian Successor Nadesco. He yeah. was, I think he was the lead character designer on oh, that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he'd have developed the plot at all. But was anyway. that the one where they, where everybody's like, it turns out that there was like a an anime from the seventies. Yes. That everybody's like very uh, they, into. Yeah. Like they, the monsters are all, but then like the the pilot, the best pilots on the ship are also into. It. Yeah, yeah, uh, and the one dude named Guy Dai Goji. Yeah, he's like, yep, he yep, says yep. here, name's Jiro Yamada, and he's like, that's just a boring name my mom gave me. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, anyway, yeah, it's that. He he was like, he worked on that, and he did a manga Tetra called Pod. Silent Mobius, and oh, he's shit. he's done a, he did a Batman manga that was actually really good. That's cool. Um, anyway. I was talking to him, mm -hmm. and uh, he was very nice. He complimented me on my work, and he said, you know, a lot of manga artists don't like drawing monsters, because especially kaiju, like Godzilla, because they don't like drawing all those details, uh, because it's it's not conducive to meeting their fucking uh, deadline. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, so, oh, we're going to do, by the way, speaking of manga artists and mm. uh, uh, weebs, we're going to uh, do something here. Oh, boy. So I don't know if you remember this. This is the mission where we had to stealth our way in. Right. And here we have Swinburne, who oh. is the Vespers number seven. Um, and uh, halfway through this fight, he will offer to pay us off. Uh huh. Um, and, you know, he's like very uh, proper. I guess. Oh, it's like, he's very, he's very like char or. Um, well, he's no, he's like a, he's a little prissy dick. Oh, okay. Uh, he's like, <laughs> that's different. How dare you attack me when my back is turned? Have you no sense of propriety? You no. need to be disciplined. Okay, like, bring this on, kind of nonsense. So. Yeah, I see what you um, mean. So a much more obnoxious, obnoxious so, char. But we. Um, Damn. Yeah, my ammo is a little low. Let's just rely on this a little bit. Are we, Swinburne, quit making me waste all my ammo on you. No. Okay. 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 Oh, so is, here. Yeah. Uh huh. 
okay. this was a, a mission from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Okay. Um, Let me go, and you'll still come out on top. Understand? Uh huh. So oh. if you accept his. You're quick on the uptake, aren't you? Splendid. If you accept his thing, his his deal. Uh huh. Um. Then the Rubicon Liberation Front sends uh, sends an assassin to kill you. Oh God! Uh, somebody we've already fought in the arena, but um, okay. I don't know what. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, and he is this Rak Rakumansen. Oh. He he's obsessed with like everything he says is a haiku. Oh, uh, so he's like a he's a. <laughs> He's, if this was in any other, if any other country made this, yeah. he would be a, a racial caricature. Uh, and he talks like, he thinks he's a samurai. Uh-huh. Uh, and again, like I said, everything he says is a fucking haiku. That's silly. Uh, his, his ship also has an emblem on it that's got like the... The six coins, you know what I'm talking about? Like the, it's like the like the top of a oh, Lego. Yeah. And it's like the toll that you pay or something uh -huh. like that. It's got some kind of um, iconography from Japanese, like from sure. uh, funeral culture and death uh. or uh, Shinto or something. Um, but he kind of sucks. Oops. Well, I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> well, I just haven't. I don't want to use up any of my um, thingies. Yeah. I don't want to use my repair kits. Because yeah. he's not worth my repair kits. My repair kits, I save those for special well, occasions. Spank him. <laughs> like when I meet a nice lady. Oh, yeah. Look, are we just going to go in the same direction around this pylon? Or are you going to fucking get wrecked, son? Ah, using your repair kits. I love that. Like, just like uh, <laughs> repair kits for when your dick's busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, baby. I just need to bust out a repair Ooh, kit. Oh, I need one of those repair kits. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, I don't think you should bend that way. Oh, boy. I actually do know somebody who. Wahoo! Whoa. I, that. I actually do know somebody who broke their dick. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, well, they God actually. Damn. He actually. He actually fell off a. He fell off a thing. Like he. He was on a. I don't remember what. It, but it like Rocky he fell. Bonson. And it, like it snapped his dick in half. Ah! Yeah, it's real bad. Ah! Yeah, it's real bad. Don't say these things. <laughs> I know that's physically possible, but I don't want to be reminded yeah, of it. It's bad. It's real bad. It's real bad. <laughs> God. Yeah, it uh, sucked. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, so have fun with that. Ow. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking about how many times people do pole vaulting and then it just like it wings them on the way down. What was the thing I saw last year where they were like, uh, like a uh, top sexologist warned like every human being on the planet, don't do reverse cowgirl because if you don't line that shit up the right way or if it slips out, you could like fucking snap it in two. Yeah. And I'm just like, ah! You gotta be, you gotta know what you're fucking doing before you're doing. Just read a book. Shit. <laughs> there are books. Watch some videos. I'm sure there's a few. Oh yeah. I I, I feel like. Um, oh, they took Swinburne to re-education anyway Aww. because he 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 bought his freedom instead of killing your ass. Nah. Archibus doesn't like it when anybody does any fucking yeah. thing. We got oh. the Vespers. All right. I'm a Vesper. Hey. That's stupid. <laughs> um, which one should we do? I don't care. Um, we can I fight kinda, the, the big guy, or we can go down into the tunnel. I kind of like the tunnel. It's a little different. The tunnel? Okay. Yeah. We did the big guy last time. We can do the yeah, big sure. guy a second time. We. Boop, boop, boop. Got a job for you, 621. Oh, you don't say. The big group sent us a request. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> just this little raccoon. Uh, yeah. What? 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 <laughs> I'm polishing my bazookas. Whatever, man. Come on. Look, just point me at the dicks and I'll break them, okay? <laughs> oh, wait. Is it? Oh, okay, right. And then you got to blow up. Yeah. I want you to, like, destroy whatever you find at the bottom of the watch point. Yep, yeah, okay, that's it. All right, as long as I know what I need to do, we're fucking golden. I... I remembered, I really liked that bit of, I liked that bit of world building. Which one? When uh, when we went into the, the depths to go to that, uh, the fucking Rubicon Institute. Oh, that was a different mission. That was a different no, I know uh, that. depths I'm, mission. I know that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that. Well, we got all we, the like backstory about the Rubicon uh, Institute. Well, on top of that, I mean, honestly, whoop, 
Ooh, Seeing those fucking shit. worms is really in, it really surprising because of the implication, the implication, Jeff, uh -huh. that, oh, this was like a functioning ecosystem at one point. Like, uh, even if those worms are the only things down here, yeah. the, like, humanity has been looking for alien life, well, you know, and, and we just, like, we just came to this planet and just strip mined it. Well, I actually don't think those are aliens. I don't think those were aliens. Oh, I thought they were like uh, I native they were like, fauna. I think they were like mealworms that Mutated? got exposed to uh, enough coral that they just turned fucking nuts. They just went oh. crazy. Uh, I mean, that's also a little bit of world building. At like, yeah, because I don't think it's... it's. I, I wonder about that. I wonder about space travel. Uh -huh. And I wonder about the possibility of like, like rats on a ship, you know? Mm -hmm. Like shit somehow... <laughs> Getting out into space. Uh huh. That's not supposed to be there. God, if we ever leave this planet and we bring rats with us, we are the foolish, foolish, fucking biggest idiots, fools of all time. The aliens will show up and just be go, like, "Fucking seriously." Go, man. All you got to do is go look up like how much food mm -hmm. is destroyed by rodents every year. Mm -hmm. Like that shit is a goddamn plague, and those motherfuckers don't even really do all that much. I mean, I know, like, they're very so, clever and shit, so but, like... Fucking, they don't do, what do you even do? Well, you know, like, spiders, they'll eat, like, you know... Pests. Th they'll eat pests, yeah. yeah. And, like, ants, they'll clean up uh, after uh, after us. They'll, like, eat waste and stuff. Yeah. Vultures will eat waste and, and like, like, literally rotten carcasses and then turn it into, uh, like... Like sterile, yeah. uh, like their 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 Whoa. crap is sterile. Yeah, they'll eat like diseased carcasses and turn them to sterile. The fuck are you doing, rats? You're just eating the food and spreading and, plague. Yeah, thanks. Good job, everybody. <laughs> We're all super super happy. Uh, I mean, it's it's it's. Fuck you guys. Have you ever oh, seen that movie? Uh, of, Ratatouille. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck. That little shit knew what he was wait, doing. Where's the? Oh, um, it's on the other side of this. Uh, no, it's that movie uh, of unknown origin. No. Um, I saw it as part of a. I, I learned about it as part of like a movie Bob uh, Schlocktober. Oh, it's here it is. But it was. Um, I don't. It had somebody kind of like a like a relatively well known I think B actor uh -huh. in it. But uh, uh, anyway, it was about this dude. Ooh, God. It was just about this dude who was like uh, uh, fixing up his house. <laughs> Uh, while his family, his his wife and his kid were just like out of town or something, so he's like renovating his house and making it real nice. And yeah. then a fucking rat moves in, mm -hmm. and the movie is it's kind of like that movie Mouse Hunt, <laughs> but way more about a man slowly unraveling. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and he and he at one point he he ha he's at like a dinner party and he goes on this long spiel about how like all the shit he learned about rats. Uh -huh. He's like. They can chew through concrete. They can swim 20 miles. They can compress the rib cage down to the size of a quarter. And like, and everyone at the table is just looking at him like, okay, crazy pants. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, rats are, um, we, I, uh, I don't think we have rats in our home. Uh-huh. But they de well, like Cassin sets up uh has set up bunny feeding stations, rabbit feeding stations in our backyard. Mm -hmm. So the rabbits will come back there and eat stuff. Yep. And other stuff, you know, also comes back there to eat, like birds and whatnot. And then of course the hawks come in and they fucking try to eat the birds and the rabbits. But then it was like, oh, there are rats out here too. Like yep. big ass rats. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you put food out in the world. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, you're I know. like if you if you put sugar water on your front steps and you're like, where did all these ants come from? And it's like, <laughs> well, yeah, man. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I know that fundamentally. Like, yes, I got it. It's just, I just think it's interesting that like I we hadn't considered that as a possibility. <laughs> I mean, we do live on the very, very edge of Pflugerville, like on the edge of wilderness yep. and farmland. There's literally, next to our neighborhood is a longhorn farm, uh -huh. like with big ass longhorns. It's kind of cool, actually. I hate nature. <laughs> Of course. I got do. like armadillos and raccoons and possums and deer and shit. And when I see them, I'm just like, get out of my fucking way. I'm trying to want my dog. Deer, quit looking at me. You don't have anything to say. 
Oh, are they delightful? They're eating the... Fuck off! We want to do one more uh, one more mission? No, we're done. Okay. Uh, we're 45 minutes, <laughs> I love and I'm so complaining so about deer, so... Fucking deer. <laughs> yeah. Fucking um, get a job. Anyway. Contribute to capitalism that's ripping the planet apart. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Work like for DoorDash <laughs> like a civilized life form. <laughs> If a deer showed up with Chinese food for me, I'd have a lot more respect for their entire species, okay? Just a deer with a little a little backpack with Chinese food in it. And you're like, oh, thank you very much. Thank you, delightful um, forest creature. They smell bad. <laughs> they do. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash rage slide. Help us out. Kick some bucks. Get some bonus videos. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe unless you're like a big deer supporter. <laughs> you're, like, you're all about deer and Grubhub. Lose. You're like, <laughs> we're no, gonna, thumbs down. <laughs> we're going to lose fucking patrons. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I would. I can never tell anymore what makes people mad on the internet. <laughs> I, don't, I don't bother keeping up. Yeah. Anyway, Patreon.com forward slash rage slide. Come to the Discord server. Come to the Power World server. Come to the Minecraft server. Ooh. Come to any of the servers. I was actually thinking about spooling up a, because um, it's it doesn't cost that much, a Fallout 76 uh, instance because mm. everybody, like there's been this huge resurgence after the show came out of people mm -hmm. playing Fallout. But having like, you can you could get a private server for like nine people for like eight bucks a month or something. Mm. And I was like, maybe people on the on the Discord want to play Fallout. So let me know. Yeah. You guys want to play Fallout? You maybe let me know. I can do whatever. You whatever. Do whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my pitch. Matt, where can the people find you? Well, you guys can find me over at mattfrankart.net. Uh, and patreon.com slash mattfrankart and also my store which is mattfrankart.bigcartel.com links down below uh huh thank you thank you and uh I don't think I have anything else I could really like super talk about I mean con season's about to start revving up so cons con! so I'll be uh beep bopping around uh these United States of America maybe just jumping on airplanes left and right <sighs> yeah. just going places you know July is gonna be hairy <laughs> it's like I got like three in a row Oof. oh god all right anyway. well <laughs> look out for Matt he may be in your town like keep an eye yeah. keep an eye out look out for <laughs> stomping just and screaming walk, um, walking around doing <laughs> his thing yeah um yeah that's it make sure to join us back here next week we're gonna have more armor core bye everybody